Hi, this is Priscilla with CrossFit 1088 and welcome to the last part of our kettlebell series where in every episode I show you one new exercise that you can do to make your workouts more effective. And this episode, our exercise is the kettlebell Turkish get-up. So, there are a couple things I want you to think about with the Turkish get-up. Number one is no matter what your body is doing, keep that kettlebell pushed to the ceiling and your arm close to your ear. If you can do that, you will be good. And then the second thing with the Turkish get-up is just to simply be patient. It takes time to get up off the floor and to get back down on the floor. And so, you're going to want to give yourself some time to do that. Don't rush it. Make sure you hit each of the five positions and you'll be just fine. So, like the previous two exercises, this one is a little bit more complex. We're going to spend the majority of our time going through the actual movement and walking through the different steps. As I said, there's five of them and I'm going to demonstrate it for you and then we're going to break it out into each of them. Here's the demo. Bent knee, straight arm, kettlebells in the arm, it's on the same side of the body. So that is the kettlebell Turkish get up, all the way up and all the way down. So there are five positions, as I mentioned, let's go through each of them. For your setup, you want to make sure that arm is straight ahead. Same knee as the one that's bent. Step one, crunch up to your elbow. Here. Step two, extend the arm. Step three, take this front leg and swing it to the back. This one can be the most tricky. Step four is to come off of your hand so that you're into a lunge. Step five is to stand up. Then we just simply reverse the steps to get back down. So I'm stepping back into the lunge bringing my hand to the floor, swinging the back leg to the front, bringing my elbow to the mat, and then come up, coming all the way down. From here, I'm going to switch, and just like the other two movements prior to this, it alternates and switches sides. So now I'm on the left side, I go to my elbow, up to my hand, swing the front leg to the back, let go into this lunge, and then stand up, and then from here I'm going to reverse it, stepping back with that leg, hand to the floor, kicking the leg in front to the elbow, and all the way down, bringing that kettlebell and switching it to the other side. My suggestion is to replay this video in order to write down each of the five positions so that you can make sure that you're hitting each of them, you're coming all the way up, and then you're coming all the way down. Um, we use these, but we put a few of them in a workout, and so you'll want to do the same, especially when you're first starting. Start light with a kettlebell. Make sure that you can keep it near your ear and that you can stand up from that lunge so that you're nice and tall. In fact, I'll stand up now. You're nice and tall, legs straight, abs pulled in, arms straight, just like many of our other movements with a kettlebell. That's what we're looking for in a finished position. And then... Very different from the others, you actually move your body to come all the way back down to the floor. That is the Turkish Get Up, and that wraps up our kettlebell series. I hope that you have enjoyed it and that you've learned maybe a few different movements that you can now incorporate into your exercises, into your workouts, and make them more effective. Please let us know if we missed one that you really love. I'd like to hear about it. Put it in the comments below. If you like this video and the series all together, feel free to subscribe to our channel and you will be getting more of this in the future, just ways that we're trying to help you stay fit and to have some fun with it. So thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you next time.